Okay, we're here with Ping Pong. This is your third or yeah, fourth professional? My third. Your third? On the Ryan Garcia card. Um, talk to us about your training cap. Well, I mean, it's been a good one. You know, we put in the work at the gym, the sparring session, so we're ready. Yeah. Um, talk to us about being a professional fighter. What are, like, your ambitions? Ambitions? Uh, I mean, everybody's got big expectations and uh, big dreams. I mean, we're taking it one step at a time, fight at a time, see how it goes. Uh, just got to do our work in the gym, and we'll see uh, We'll see what, what role we get. Yeah. Um, what kind of fighter are you? Uh, depends. You know, every fight you got to change it somewhat, but, I mean, I like going forward. I get into the to the action, but yeah, you got you got to adjust every fight. Yeah, what pushed you to the sport of boxing? Uh, well, ma mainly it was to lose weight, you know, and a low self defense, and then mm -hmm. you just liked it, started yeah. fighting. Has it come in handy for self defense or uh, nobody no, tries you? Well, I mean, I, I haven't <laughs> needed to, you know. So I know, I'm just joking. That's a good part. Um, your opponent, what do you know about your opponent? Uh, it's a Puerto Rican dude uh, from Puerto Rico, so he got four fights. Uh, four wins, so it's gonna be good. It's gonna so be a good fight. It's pretty even in terms of experience, then. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. Um, he's Puerto Rican. You're Mexican. Mm -hmm. You're Mexican. You're yeah. Yeah. Um, Gracias a Dios. Is, 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 <laughs> is there any like uh, pressure to get that win? Because you know he's a Puerto Rican, and there's that that historical rivalry, uh -huh. even if it's at a smaller scale. But you know. Right. Well, I mean, there's been rivalries before, so probably people see it like that. But I mean, I gotta take it as one another fight. I just yeah. gotta do uh, what I gotta do in the ring. Um, tell us about your team. All right, we're right, we're, we're, uh, right here at Westside Boxing Club, mm -hmm. and not really a team, bro. It's a, it's a family, you know, it's yeah. a family thing. We're all family, and uh, we always get the job done. I get that a lot every time I talk to a fighter from that um, gym. Um, tell us about the connection and what pushed you uh, to, to the sport, like in terms of actually getting to a gym and staying there, you know, mm -hmm. staying there and becoming a professional. Uh, rephrase that again. Um, like. Talk to us about that gym, the connection that you have with, oh, your, right. with your team, well, and then actually staying there in the gym. Because, you know, a lot of people, they do go in there, mm -hmm. they learn some self-defense, and they could easily, like, just fade yeah. away and go back to the well, street. Well, I mean, but, I started fighting when I was smaller. Yeah. And then recently, we, we uh, linked up. We knew each other before, mm -hmm. and the thing that was stuck about us, stuck with us the most, was uh, how, we, how we thought, you know, that mentality. Mm -hmm. There's certain aspects, you know, when you click with somebody, and you feel right at home, man. That's how it is with us. Yeah. Do you get a lot of support in your fights? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, um, family, friends, the gym, you know, everywhere. It's can, good. Can Thank you God. hear them at your fights, or do you block it out, and you're just focused on fighting? Or? Well, as soon as that bell rings, bro, you got to do You got to handle your business. It's, not, it's just you and the competitor, your opponent in the ring so just you you gotta listen to your corner yeah aside from yourself is there a fighter that you are keeping an eye on this year like that you that you think is gonna have a breakout year a young fighter or, or a um, fighter that a lot of people might not know that's gonna get bigger in the sport well our team basically I mean that's the ones I'm with every day so I can speak on them so yeah. basically our team I know we we're, we're doing strong and we're putting our work in so I can't speak for anybody else mm -hmm. that's true yeah people that you know um, tell us about uh, your support system. Who's the one that, that that's there, always there for you, aside from like, your team, like uh, outside of boxing that's well, every, for everybody? Everybody's part of it, man. Like I said, everybody does their own little job. If somebody shoots me a ride, if somebody just say, hey, how you doing? Hey, echale ganas. You know, that's that's the team. It's not just the gym people, not the people in the gym every day. Yeah. All right, um, tell the fans where to follow you on social media if you have any accounts. Well, follow me on Instagram, pingpon underscore reyes. If you guys follow back or they ever send me a message, it don't matter. Send me tacos my way from address. <laughs> All right, cool. Appreciate you, man. Hey,